Well, welcome to Rangers TV, of course, our weekly catch up with the coach. Uh, nice to see you, Larissa, ahead of a big double header this weekend. BP, good to be here. Let's uh, first of all just reflect back on uh, Canberra. You've been sort of quieted during the week, and uh, we spoke to you, of course, after the game uh, last week. Just one you sort of wanted to get done. It wasn't pretty. You didn't win until the last 0 0.02 seconds of the game. This one you just bank and you move on pretty quick. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, it, it, you pretty much summed it up. I think it is one of those games that we particular for some reason, it's exactly the same game as we had last year, same road trip. Obviously don't like going to Canberra in that first um, that first week, but a win's a win. And um, I'm super proud of how the girls bounced back from being down by such a deficit. And credit to Canberra, they uh, played a great game and I'm very proud of the girls for finishing that one off. So you move on. You do. Uh, a really big milestone this week for Sarah Blitzer. It's quite amazing. She's reached 150 games mm. already, which started at the AIS all those years ago at the Bendigo. Mm. And Won a championship and, of course, uh, played here at Danny Nong and has come back for another stint. Talk us through Sarah. Everyone knows her pretty well. She's uh, the real personality of the team, mm -hmm. a very fine basketballer who reaches a, a pretty big milestone this weekend. Yeah, and I'm good on her. 150 games, I think we all remember our 150th game. It's, um, it's, not a, it's not a small feat to reach that in the WNBL. And, I think she's a, a, a name that's going to just keep getting bigger and bigger. She's a pleasure to coach. Um, she is the first one to put her hand up and say, I could have done better, or um, first first one to put up her hand and say, I'll do that. And on and off the court, she's um, yeah, she's a real trooper. So I think she's a big part of our team, as are the rest of them. Um, but she's um, I couldn't congratulate her more. I think she's just going to get better and better, and she works really hard. So I'm very excited to see what she uh, what she becomes as a player. You must be pleased this week you can unveil Ali Malotta, of course, has come across from Washington. She's only been here about three weeks, unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, hurt her ankle. Did travel with the team to Canberra to get a good look at how the team plays, but nice yeah. to have her back on court this week. Yeah, and she's looking good. I think, um, yeah, the poor thing, she uh, was settling in really well, and I think the girl's really excited to get her in there. She um, will clearly make a big difference for us, and. I think she's really excited about getting out there and um, this is her first time in the league. So, look, she's looking good and, um, yeah, one game at a time, we'll see how she goes against Bendigo. But she's um, looking good and I think um, hopefully she can um, get back and show our hometown what she can do on Sunday. Well, let's take it one game at a time because before you get we get excited about being here at home for the first time on Sunday in front of a bumper crowd, you need to sort of get over the spirit first. It's always a tough right. trip up the highway and they've had a, a big... Overtime win in round one against Adelaide. Talk us through that game on the weekend. Yeah, I look, I think, um, I don't know whether Adelaide would have shot them or not because I certainly look at all the games and think there is just not going to be one easy game this season. If you do not come ready to play, you're in trouble. So um, it's going to be a very even, tough season every single week. And so that makes these double headers even tougher because you really only like to focus on that first game as a coach and as a team, but you've got to try and implement a few things throughout the week that will kind of be handy and used in both games. But for us, definitely our focus primarily is um, Bendigo. It's always a really tough game to go up there and, and play. And it's a seven o'clock game and a very, it, it's uh, yeah going to be a late night. So look, our focus, we match up really well with Bendigo. We've matched up with them twice in the pre-season. Both were really close hit outs. Um, neither time, I mean, we had our full team, both had full teams in that last um, hit out, but again, we were limiting minutes for certain players. So this will be the first really um, tough hit out, but I think we match up really well. Um, Kelsey Griffin's a big focus for us. Um, Nio is um, a great import who's going to settle in, I think, do some real damage, and they've got some great role players that are enjoying that extra minutes with them at the moment. So. Um, to be honest, the focus is more about what we need to do, um, the standard that we expect um, from each other um, and not have those patches that we allowed to creep into that game last week. So that's been our focus all week is to get ourselves on track to where we expect ourselves to be. No doubt. For those that can't make it up the highway, uh, we'll tell people how they can tune in on uh, Saturday night, but you'd love to see them here, decked out in green, ready to go for a big first home game on Sunday. Absolutely. And look, our hitouts with Perth are always tough. They're coming off a, a game the night before against the Boomers as well. So. Yeah, I would love it. I mean, it's been big talk all year that um, we're trying to prove that the product of the WNBL is at its strongest. It is such a good year. Every single team um, is going to be so tough and are putting such good product on the floor. We do. We urge all of our supporters, all our Ranger fans to get behind us and prove that they love the WNBL as much as what we do and, and show everybody what a fantastic league it is and get behind it. Yeah, so much uh, great entertainment on and off the court on uh, Sunday, of course, 5 o'clock tip-off. Make sure you are here. And a little plug, of course, for uh, Fresh FM. If you're looking through to radio coverage, LA, if you can't make it up the highway on uh, uh, Saturday night versus Bendigo, uh, Bendigo's best sport 
fm.com is where you can tune in or via the tuning app on your smartphone if you're just driving around or you're sitting at home watching the FIBA live stats we'll have plenty of activity going on social media on our of course Facebook page uh, Twitter and Instagram so you won't miss a beat but a bit of radio live coverage before we stream live for those that can't get here we hope you are here but if you can't streaming live of course uh, we'll give you all the details across social media in the next few days. Good luck. I know you've got a training Thank session you. to get to and a big weekend coming up. Thanks, Pete. The coach, uh, Larissa Anderson, here on Rangers TV.